Hey guys, welcome or uh, welcome back to ETL QL apps. So in this session, we will look at ETL bugs. Yeah. So what is ETL bugs? So guys, bugs and defects both are the same thing. So you can also call, uh, I mean, uh, you can also call it as a ETL defect. All right. So what is ETL defect? First of all, uh, what is defect or bug, right? So any kind of deviation with respect to, uh, you know, functionality of your software, it's called defect, right? So if your software is not uh, behaving in the, the behavior of your software is not uh, as per your expectation, uh, then that is called a defect or bug, right? Similarly for ETL, so you have the ETL jobs and ETL jobs, is, ETL job is supposed to do, you know, transformation, whatever you have defined in that particular mapping. And if it is not able to, you know, perform that or there is some problem with that and that is called ETL bugs, right? So what I have done is, so this is very common interview question. Yeah. So people might ask you, what is the ETL bug or ETL defect that you normally find in your ETL testing? Okay. So so to answer that question, I think uh, many of you might have already encountered this question. So uh, that's the reason I have uh, thought of I will prepare one, you know, one video for this around this so that, you know, it will be beneficial for you. Okay. So to answer this question, you can say that there are three different levels or the, you know, phases. That's where you can find the ETL bugs and most of the common, most common defects that we find it at the source level. Uh, and at the transformation level and then also at the target level. Yeah, so you can divide your uh, Story around this and then you can give the example from each of this, uh, you know um, This phases. Yeah, so you can say that at the source we normally find the data related issues Yeah, so data related issues which means source data uh, is not accurate or it is not appropriate and those were those are the basically the bugs yeah and which are actually causing the issue at the target so to list out few of them you see that missing data in the target so there is uh, some bad data in the source and then that particular data is getting cleansed as part of etl process which means that bad data is there but basically that data is needed because data quality is not good but then data is really the valid data all right but as part of our retail process that gets filtered out because as part of our cleansing job, cleansing process, we basically remove those because of the bad quality of the data, right? Second one is the failing lookup condition. Yeah, so failing lookup condition. So, uh, so you might be knowing that when we use the lookup condition in our, in our uh, transformation, right? And then we try to uh, look up on a particular column in the lookup table and if uh, the value in the lookup table uh, on, on the on the columns that is being looked up if the value is not uh, matching or uh, somehow the value is missing then what will happen as a target in the target that particular value uh, will be populated as null right because there is no matching so in that case there is a wrong data that is uh, you know getting written into target so that is uh, related to lookup condition failing and then also there is some rejection because of the data quality uh, yeah data quality at at the source right so these are the few things that you can say but roughly you can say that there are issues related to the data quality and uh, you know because of those uh, we are uh, facing the problem right and uh, that is uh, mostly related to the quality of the data from the source system and guys you know that in the in the in the etl process we are getting the data from multiple systems right so it can be flag file it can be sap system it can be erp it can be anything i mean relational databases yeah and everything that we get from the from all these sources we basically simultaneously try to do the transformation cleansing loading right and in this is this is huge task that etl jobs does right and uh, obviously the data that is coming from the source is uh, you know it's not clean yeah that is uh, that because because of the nature right because we are collecting collating the data from all the sources all multiple possible sources okay guys 
now the second uh, kind of transformation that we get uh, you know so second kind of bug that we find is the at the label of you know transformation at the etl process i will say the transformation level yeah so wherein you are putting lot of transformation to transform the data so cleansing will happen and then after that there will be set of rules that you are going to apply on the data that is getting that is clean data now right after that so after loading into staging what you do you basically uh, uh, clean it uh, you massage the data and then after that you actually perform the transformation on all of them right so there will be multiple transformation example uh, filter transformation router expression transformation so many transformation based on our business rules right that we perform and those bugs may be related to the transformation and most of the bugs guys mind it your you the even interview you were we asking if you are telling that source that is fine altogether that is the extra bonus point but you have to focus mostly on the bugs that you find during your transformation right because transformation is that's where he is asking basically right so how do you find the bug and what kind of bugs are there so first thing that we will take is the null translation yeah so what happens is null translation so there is a data that is coming from the source as a null but you know that this data is really good right there are certain other fields which are uh, which you are able to make sure that this data is of a good quality means uh, this data is really valid data and you would like to transform that null value into something else right all right guys so that is where the null translation comes into picture and uh, if that is not coded properly in your etl job then that is a problem right so those kind of things that you have to find as part of your transformation so you have to make sure the transformation which are going to be used are exactly map matching as per your requirement document or what you say the mapping document all right now second one is the wrong translation long translation means if you are getting something then you are basically trying to transform something so for example there is a marks column right so if i am getting less than 33 or 35 then i am saying you know populate as a fail if getting more than you know 35 and uh, between uh, 35 and 60 then we say the first second division and then more than that first division something like that we can populate right so if those translations are not properly taken care then there is a problem and that you can definitely find out using when you are actually performing the etl uh, validation on your those particular columns where all these rules are applied then absence of lookup value in the lookup table right so that is again i'm saying that population of the null value in the target because uh, you you are whatever value you are looking into lookup table that particular value is itself is not there right then your uh, your uh, what you say the transformation will not work properly right in that case there is might be the chances that the your target is getting populated with the null values yeah transformations inappropriately implemented that is also you will find out right because when you are looking at the documentation and uh, when looking at the requirement document mapping etc you will find it in the wrong field mapping also is one of the major problem yeah so let's say you have uh, from source there is a name field and uh, while you are propagating it from source and uh, between uh, you know between source and target there is lot of mapping uh, transformation involved and by mistake if you are actually matching you know that uh, employee number with the manager number or something some different name sorry employee name is there and then if you are matching it with something like customer name or something right what will happen it will actually um, since you mapped it it will be actually populated in the target with the wrong data right so against customer name there will be employee name so the mapping mapping of you know uh, of the ports is very important that you have to make sure you are mapping them rightly all right so these are the few of the defects that uh, we normally find as part of the transformation and there are some more like extra record in table so if you are not putting the proper filter then what will happen that uh, you get unintended record in the target also which is really a problem and also the duplicate checks right sometime if we are not uh, using the do we are not performing the dedupe or unique um, you know transformation then 
you know that might also cause a problem in the target there might be duplicate records populated all right so those are the things which uh, you know we have to just say that uh, that uh, these are the kind of issues that we find and third thing that you can tell that uh, we always find the issue at the target level yeah target table so target table is supposed to be defined in such a way that uh, it should basically match between your source and uh, source right so source and uh, other transformation so i'll just give you example right so let's say i have the employee name in my source which is let's say 10 characters right but in target what i did is when i created the table uh, when i say i means the data modeler or dat database db is right when they created the table they have created with you know uh, uh, where care uh, maybe uh, size is 8 right but in source we are getting the size where care as 10 what will happen those two characters which is extra in in the source will be truncated okay in case there is a full length coming from your source in that case it will be truncated so there will be loss of data right so that is what it is actually so truncation of the data due to the field length wrong field length right so it is always good that you put the extra field length but uh, if you are putting you know uh, less uh, less field length at the target then there is a data loss there can be data loss right now extra spaces in the target due to wrong data type yeah so this is also very important you can say that see while uh, you know creating the table so there can be two things yeah one thing is when in the source what you are getting is you are getting actually where care kind of data okay which means if you are uh, defined uh, your uh, data type as a where care then only data whatever you are supplying will be taken care taken you know and uh, but whenever you are uh, you know defining the data as a care so let's say in in source i am defining as a where care 10 and in target i am defining as a care 10 right so there is a data type mismatch where care and care right so after that when i load the data and if there is one record which is having uh, let's say five characters only five characters in the source uh, where care it will always consider as five character only when when you load in the target since you have defined as a care 10 irrespective of the you know the field length that you are getting from the source it will always consider the 10 uh, size yeah so whatever data you will not get that extra you know uh, extra will be padded as a uh, what do you say the white spaces yeah so you have to make sure that uh, the tables which are defined at the target are exactly matching with regards to the field name and the data type right it should not also happen that you know in the source you are getting the uh, the date field and target you are trying to load into where care right so those things we have to take care uh, so those are the testing also that we do as part of our static testing right so these are few things few are the defects guys so that we normally encounter in our ETL testing. I have tried to, you know, summarize it in a very easy way. Hopefully, uh, you are able to understand, guys. Okay, so this is all I wanted to, you know, talk about uh, this particular session. And guys, if you have not subscribed my video uh, or the channel, please go and subscribe it because I am putting a lot of uh, information and that will really be helpful for you, yeah? So, thank you, guys. Thank you for watching and uh, see you later with the next video. Bye. Happy learning. Until then.